Good evening, uh, brothers and sisters. Actually, I got seen very well. Uh, I'm quite afraid, maybe I've uh, been losing my voice. <laughs> uh, for the past uh, two days already, uh, I have a severe cough. So I need to uh, reserve my voice for the, uh, today's uh, Bible study. Uh, also, I want to praise and uh, thanks God for all the blessings that you have given me. Actually, I cannot name uh, them one by one because uh, I'm loving uh, the blessings. And really, I can really feel the hands of God moving in my, in my, in my, in my life. The time when I went to the BBC. Uh, probably because uh, uh, we are so immersed with the words of God, with the solid preaching, with the, with the, especially with the Bible school. I, I, get, I, I really took some, uh, so much knowledge in Bible school. And also, most especially, uh, of course, uh, handling a Bible study group uh, really uh, tries to uh, uh, make you better in your, in your, in your preaching or dealing with, with your preaching. So I praise God, I praise God and thanks God for that. So can, can you please open your Bible in uh, the book of Genesis? Uh, we're going to read a very long verse. Chapter 22, verses 1, 1 to 19. 1 to 19. And we will take request of the Bible to please rise. It's a reading of the Holy Bible. Because it's a very long verse, I would like to request the first row for the first book, verse, second row for the second verse, third row for the third verse, fourth row for the last verse, for the fourth verse. And then again, uh, same as uh, Genesis chapter 22, verses 1 of the 19. Okay, verse 1, the first row, please. First row. And it came to pass after these things that God did thank Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, your land. Second row. And he said, Take thy son, thy only son, thy son. Whom thou lovest, and give me to the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. Third row. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and stands out of his house, and took the walk of the land and with him, and Isaac his son, and laid the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up, and went up to the place of which God had told him. Fourth row. Then the third day came out of him the dark besides, and so the place of far off. The first one again. And Abraham said unto his young man, Abide ye here with us, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Next. And Abraham took the word of the burnt offering, and laid it upon Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand, and the knife, and they went both of them together. Next words. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Next words. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. Again, the first row. And they came to the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his son, and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven, and he said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not the hand upon the lad, let the Lord be eat unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes, and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram, and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of the priest, the Lord of as he said to his seed, the Lord of the Lord, which shall be 
And said by thyself, I have sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done these things, and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sun which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. So together, all together, and then verse 19. So Abraham returned unto his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. Let's pray. O oh, heavenly God, we beseech you again today, Lord, for your goodness. And again, Lord, we thank you for all the blessings, your goodness, your loving mercy, and the salvation that you've given us. Oh, we thank you so much, O oh God, for everything. And uh, we ask thee, O oh Lord, for uh, your goodness and guidance uh, for your servant. And uh, most especially, O oh God, my brethren who hear your word. I ask thee, O oh Lord, for your uh, goodness that uh, the, the message will, will uh, inculcate in the lives as a Christian. And we pray, Lord, for everything and uh, for Pastor John that uh, is there now in the mission work, work Lord. You're going to bless him also and his family. Lord, we thank you for everything in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, uh, and, uh, and uh, I'm trying to really to reserve my voice tonight. Uh, and actually, I am, I'm so thankful with the Lord because uh, last Friday I was able to uh, uh, finish my, my uh, Friday school. And after that, wala na, nawala ang boses ko na. So, uh, I praise God for that. And I think tonight, we are now on the study number five. And I think this is a very, uh, this is a very, very exciting uh, lesson, I think, for us. Uh, exciting in a way that, uh, of course, uh, if we say trial, napaka exciting po, di ba? I could remember when I when I bought my first uh, mountain bike before when I was in high school. Uh, I was really so na hindi tapos sa friend ko noon. I mean, bike siya noon eh. So I was really so uh, uh, I was really aspiring to buy one for me. And when I had the bike, I was so really excited to try my bike. Uh, trial to say so really I was so excited to try my bike kung okay ba o maganda yung pagka no po pagka nabili kong bike. So, same like also in our family. Uh, we should be excited on on these trials. Ito yung napaka-exciting na part na ating, ating uh, buhay bilang kristyano, trials of faith. So, uh, in this series, I'm going to study the, the introduction. As we have read the, uh, the the verses in Genesis chapter 22, verses 1 to 19, you could see the life of Abraham uh, together with the life uh, together with his wife Sarah, and uh, you could really uh, see how God is moving in the lives, being a righteous Christian, being a righteous family uh, together with Abraham and Sarah. In our series of studies in Hebrews 11. We come now to verses 17 to 19. I'm going to read this one for you. Actually, we have several verses to, uh, to read in this study. I think almost 34 verses. And I would like also to help, uh, to help me uh, read these verses. Uh, probably I will start from, uh, from my left to right until we go uh, with, with these verses. No? We have almost 34 verses for this study. So I'm going to read, to read first this uh, Hebrews uh, chapter 11, uh, verses 17 to 19. <clears throat> By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Accounting that God was able to raise him up, even from the dead, 
from whence also he received him in a figure. So this is the, uh, uh, the scripture portion that we are uh, going to have in, uh, in our study. So in our series of studies in Hebrews 11, we come now to verses 17 to 19. Here we have brought before us what was surely Abraham's supreme act of faith. Why do we call this a supreme act of faith? Anyone? Uh, who knows this? Uh, I think it's a very simple idea. The answer is there. Uh, yes, because he offered up his only son, Isaac, as a burnt offering to the Lord. That is a supreme act of faith. Notice that Abraham and Sarah are also mentioned in Hebrews 11, verses 11 to 12, in connection with the birth of Isaac, and what a very wonderful illustration of faith this is. Why? What's the illustration of faith? As we have read the Genesis uh, verses 1 19. What is the very wonderful illustration of faith that uh, is mentioned in the verses that we have uh, read a while ago? But, uh, Noel. Uh, what do you notice in your life of Abraham? Uh, and also in the life of in, and also in the life of Zara, his wife. But then again? Illustration of faith. Illustration of faith. Abraham at his age of 95 years old. Hundred years old. I was trying to uh, mislead you. At the age of hundred years old, this man only one of makaka anak siya. No, same also with Sarah. At the age of ninety years old, right? Ninety-one years old. Sarah uh, conceived Isaac. So, which is Sarah, please. Huh? Uh, no, wala lang, no? Wala lang okay, we we'll, we'll go further. Read the verses carefully and then turn to Romans chapter 4, verses 18 to 21. Okay, I would, I would uh, request uh, from my left to right, Sister Sarah, to read this for me. Romans 4, 18, 21. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, he considered that his own body now dead, when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of his child. <coughs> when he staggered not at the promise of God to unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully persuaded of what he had promised, he was also so, contrary to all human hopes and to the laws of nature, Abraham trusted God to perform his word and fulfill his promises. Again, how would you differentiate human hope with heavenly hope? <laughs> but again, uh, for me, through Fox, uh, give you uh, assurance that it would uh, be a successful or it will come to pass. Yeah. How about heaven and hope? Uh, heaven and hope is my thing. Yeah. What is the heaven? Can you say something? Yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 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 can be and paste. <laughs> Actually, human hope, if you say human hope, uh, you cannot really be, uh, it's either you get it or not. Diba? Let's say you're uh, and you hope that he will pay you. You don't, know, you don't know really if he's going to pay you. But then heaven hope is an assurance. Huh? If you say heavenly hope, talagang sigurado mo sigurado it will pass. It will get to pass. Our heavenly hope, we have, a, we have a mansion in heaven. That's our heavenly hope. We have a mansion in heaven. Okay. Contrary to all human hopes and to the laws of nature. Okay. Engineering, who is, who is an engineer here, by the way? Uh, Brother Ronald Rabbit. Can you give me one law of nature, please? Law of nature? Yeah, law of nature. Gravity. 
what is what, what about gravity? Everything that goes up, it goes down. Yeah, that's the nature of that. What else? Yeah. And accounting. Uh, the law of accounting. That's the law of nature in accounting. Every day, big as it's on corresponding credit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. In the case of Abraham, what is the law of nature in Abraham? Contrary to the law of nature, Brother Jimmy Smato. Contrary to the law of nature, ano bang, ano bang the life in Abraham? Pino. What is contrary to the law of nature? So let me, Abraham. He trusted God that, you know, what God has promised, he will perform. Amen. Yes. Love nature, the same as Abraham. Love The more your age increases, the less, the less your reaction decreases. The re your reaction decreases. Diba? Habang ito tanda, siyempre, yung reaction mo na, wala na. Nagiging inutil ka na. Diba? So, yun nung niya kay Abraham. But then, sa life niya, and he could believe that that uh, he that na uh, still at that age of hundred years old he is still fertile at that age. So iba iba ang sa love nature di ba? Pag nakaidad ka ng ninety five years old, ninety five to seventy na nga o hindi inu kana yun eh, hindi ka makanak yun eh, infertile ka na eh. So hindi ba yung kaya mas ayaw na? It is contrary to the love nature. So buhay niya. Because he had faith in the Lord God. And faith and donate is a very strong faith. Okay? Abraham trusted, trusted God to perform his word and fulfill his promises. That is what faith is. And in Genesis 20, 21, verses 1 to 3, uh, we see how safe it is to trust God and how perfect his timing is. Next one, Genesis 21. Genesis 21. Is there, uh, 90. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his own son, of his son, that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. Okay. Take note, huh? Pag ang Diyos ang gumawa ng isang bagay, Perfect timing talaga. Amen. Perfect timing. When I was appraised with my performance evaluation, just recently, tama-tama, that is yung aming PM. Before he left, natimahan yung performance evaluation ko. Ako lang sa team namin, na nakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give him? Brother, brother namesake. First John 4.14. That's your part. First John 4.14. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior, be the savior of, of the world. world. Next one, Brother Jimmy. Uh, Isaac is a type of the Lord Jesus. Of course, yes, no. If you're going to see the, the, whole, the whole situation, uh, Isaac was uh, the Lord Jesus, type of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look up in Psalm 40, verses 6 to 8, Brother Jimmy. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. Mine ears has, has thou opened. Burnt offering and sin offering hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. Thy law is within my heart. Okay, next one. Uh, Philippians 2, 5 to 8. Let this man be me. Oh, brother, excuse me, brother, I think, uh, sister, the precious is your part. Okay, second, so, Philippians 2, 5, 8. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. Eight. And being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and become, became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Okay, so that's, that's our Lord Jesus Christ. He took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. The ram is a type of substitution of the fact that the Lord Jesus took our place when he died upon the cross. Look up at Isaiah 53, 5. But in the part. Isaiah 53 5. Yes. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon, upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Okay, next, next verse. Which will be? By the which will we, 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 we are sanctified to the offering of the body of the Lord, the Jesus Christ, once for all. Okay. So, uh, where are we now? Okay, next, First Peter 2 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins. Live unto righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. Yes, next, next verse. Hebrews 11 19. Uh, Sister Lim, you get your part, I think. tells us that Abraham believed that God would raise up Isaac. And look up at the first Corinthians 15, 1 to 4. Uh, what's the next one? Let's go to this one. First Corinthians chapter 15. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you that the gospel which I preach unto you, which also ye have received and were in this land, 
by which also ye are saved if ye keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose up, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Amen. So, uh, the two statements which pinpoint the emphasis of this study are Genesis 22, verse 1. Sometime later, God tested Abraham and Hebrews 11, 17, by faith, Abraham, when God tested him, offered Isaac, where there is true faith in God, that faith will also be tried and tested. It is impossible to be a believer and not to be tested. Take note of this, huh? Take note of this. It is impossible to be a believer and not to be tested. So, sino sa inyo ang test ang faith niya? Sino? Say amen. Say amen. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, there's so many verses. I think we'll go ahead. We'll proceed. I think uh, we'll do late tayo naman niya. So, yeah. Not, all, uh, not only it is true that faith will be tested, but it's the Lord who does the testing. Huh? It is the Lord who does the testing. It is the Lord who does the testing of our faith. And uh, he used many agencies, but he is the one who directs the testing of our faith. Notice in Genesis chapter 22, verse 1, that God tested Abraham. Uh, can, can you tell me this one? Genesis 22. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yes, yes. Who can read this one? Genesis 22, verse 1. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Genesis 22, 1. Genesis 22, 1. And it came to pass, after this means, that God did change Abraham, and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. Yes. And it came to pass after these things that God tempted Abraham. Take note. God tempted a person. For what purpose? Huh? To make you strong. But then, ito ah, and it came to pass after these things that God tempted Abraham. So God tempts a person, a, 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 a growing Christian, to keep them strong. But then, Satan tempts a person to make them wrong. To get them wrong. That's, that's it. No? If Satan tempts you, it get you wrong. So, uh, next. So precious is the testing of faith to God, and so profitable it is to the child of God, that we should not ex only expect it, but rejoice in it. Uh, if we're going to look up at James 1, 2. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Count it all joy, that rejoice. Knowing that, is, that it is our living and sovereign Lord who is directing the testing of our faith, and that his hand will never cause his child a needless fear. So, in, a, in your life, I'm going, I'm going to ask you, uh, some of you, I think. In your life, what was the greatest test of faith that the Lord has given you? Anyone? In your life as a, as a uh, growing Christian now, or a grown up Christian, or a mature Christian, uh, what have you, if you could recount in your life, uh, what, was, what, what was the greatest test of faith that you have encountered as a grown up Christian? Anyone? Is that about the mark? Uh, about the, uh, yeah, you have to think one thing? Simply uh, done. Uh, yung no, uh, basta isip mo lahat. Uh, I resigned from, not before QP, I resigned, no, we were, we were asked to transfer to Dubai uh, in my company before QP. But since we love Qatar so much, I refused the offer and when refusing the offer, I do not have any 
assured work and in an assured work when I refused to uh, when, when I refused the offer but I only had a gas assurance that he would provide the other ones. That's one. That's great. It's a great type of faith. Anyone else? Anyone else? Uh, I need to see your hands. What do you know? Great faith. Amen. That's the only. That's the only test that you put in the Holy Land. That's the only act. Yeah. Because if because if you test more, put in the Holy, but you don't lose toy. Because if you if you already enter in the act of marriage, you put in the Holy Land. No, it's not exchange. That's right. So let us notice three aspects of it. Sa akin siguro sa part ko, yung latest kong test of faith. At the time, I was a very, I was a wayward Christian that time, no? When I was get married. But now, yung siguro yung time na na-overlook yung design siguro. I overlook the design and it causes me so many nights na hindi ko nakatulog that time. It affected my body, my mind. It was, it's, it's grinding my mind every night before I'm too low. And I would wake up at one o'clock in the in the morning. Isipin ko naman yon. Actually, my my wife doesn't know about it. I don't want to to give burden to my wife about it. But then, really, God is so good. Really, I I kept on praying and praying, and everything was done in a very perfect way. Wala pa lang yari. So that's that's an act of faith. I think I think most I think most or all of you have the same uh, uh, experience I think, in your life. Also. So now we we'll go to the uh, three aspects of a trial or the testing of faith. Number one, the measure. Uh, one M. Measure. Very good. I will give you five stars for that. <laughs> the measure of faith testing. The measure of faith testing. How much is faith tested? It is clear that some are or appear to be tested more than others. Of course, yes. Because it depends on the measure of your faith. Uh, uh, let's say if the measure, if your faith is uh, only this much, so kanya ka lang i-test ng Panginoon. But then if your faith is that much, syempre mataano din yung ibang faith mo. Diba? So but then, uh, don't fret kung mataas ang faith mo, Natatakot ko kasi tapos baka later on, gano'n yung pitaas ang hindi hindi kasi yung Panginoon na ang testing. Don't worry about it. Trust in God. Trust in the Lord God. For everything. The measure of faith is testing. For example, not all are tested to the same extent as Abraham, Job, or Paul. Is there any ruling principle which will give us an explanation of the degree of testing? Yes, there is. Faith is tested according to the measure of faith. The lesser faith you have, the lesser the test. But then, take note that huh? we as Christians, anyone's point is being angang dyan ka lang, you should grow. Because the more you grow, the more uh, blessings you have. If God is going to test you, Rejoice. Yan ang pamamaraan ng Panginoon ha? to keep you as a very strong Christian. Yan ang pamamaraan ng Panginoon. Without those, wala, wala. Uh, weak Christian ka pa rin. So, this, there are degrees of faith which fact we quickly learn by comparison of verse 1. Verse. What's the next one? Who's going to read this one? Uh, Brother Edward. It's your part now. Mark 4, 14. And he said unto them, Why are you, why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? Sorry, hold on. So what's, what's the significant word there? What's the significant word there? No faith. Okay, next one, next verse. Brother Stephen. Matthew 6, 30. Wherefore, God said, Look, the grass of the field, which 
Okay, what's the significant word there again in that verse? Real faith. Okay, brother Edward, no faith. Sayon, real faith. Next, next verse. Matthew 17, chapter 17, verse 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a dream of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove his to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So what's the significant word there, Brother Roland? Great. Great faith as a dream of mustard most of the seed faith. Yeah. Okay, next verse, Luke 17, 5. Next one, we're going to read this one. Uh, Luke 17, 5. Yes. And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. Uh, what's the word there? Increase. Key word. Increase your faith. Uh, and the next verse, 7, 9. 7, 9. Brother Noel, that's your part now. Luke 7, 9. When Jesus heard these things, he offered to them, and turned him about and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found the great faith, no one in Israel. What is the key word there? Great faith. Great faith. So we started from new faith, no faith, real faith, uh, most of seed faith, uh, what else? Increase. Increased faith, and then increasing faith, and then great faith. So these are the comparisons. To offer Isaac was not Abraham's first test of faith, it was nearly his last, yes. He wouldn't have been ready for this great trial at the beginning of his experience of faith in God. This is all true in our experience. Uh, take note, this is all also true in our experience. We begin by trusting God simply for pardon. Amen? Yeah. Because God has forgiven us with our sins. So we trust God for that. Because He's a God of, of he's a forgiving God. But as we go on, we learn to trust Him in 10,000 other ways and for 10,000 other matters. Are we doing this? Hmm? Are we doing this? As faith grows, it is tried and tested according to its measure. But have no fear. Check the first Corinthians 10 13. Next one, Brother uh, Donald. First Corinthians 10, 13. There hath no temptation taken, but such is common to man, but God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted about that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that you may be able to bear it. So what is the significant uh, words here? But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted about that he are able. Amen? Um, um, the way God is trying to test you, uh, it, it depends on the measure of your faith. If you have only a little faith, then you have a little, little uh, trial also in life. Trial or testing in, in life. It depends on the level of your faith. But don't fret. If you're, if you're a Christian, don't, don't just say, oh, I, I will stay as a little faith because Probably later on, God will test me so much, and I, I am so afraid of that. But, really, the, the point of God, what God is trying to test you is to make you strong. And uh, I think if you have uh, encountered this in your real life, the, the tests or trials that you have encountered, uh, it keeps you strong. It keeps you strong, especially. Uh, stronger in abiding with his words palagi because that's your protection in your life. Strong in the sense that uh, you always want to be with, with the Lord Jesus Christ palagi. It's a boy palagi. No. Strong in the sense that uh, uh, in every moment of your life, in every second of your life, you want that God will direct you palagi to boy mo. Strong in a sense that uh, in, your, in your workplace, every decision making that you're, that you're, doing, that you're doing is gusto palagi na ang Panginoon mag sa iyo sa mga decision making mo, sa mga, sa mga ginagawa mo sa office, no? di ba? Okay, that's the first thing, no? that's the measure of 
or faith testing. So if you're a Christian, don't 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 uh, don't be afraid, uh, because uh, God is so faithful that ye are able. Next, next number two, the manner of faith testing, the manner. In other words, how is faith tested? What, what, in what manner? The Bible is packed full of illustrations of men and women whose faith was tested. Yes, there's many. Sometimes in the testing of faith, our affections are touched, as was the case with Abraham in the portion we are considering. And we hear that the Lord saying to us, My child, put back into my hands what I have given you. So, si kay Abraham, talagang gusto na pa yun, balik yung kanyang ano, no, katat. Sometimes the test comes in the realms of our bodies, as, with, as was the case with Paul, in 2 Corinthians 12, 7, 9, who's going to read this one? 2 Corinthians 12, 7, 9. 2 Corinthians 12, 7, 9. 7, 9. And lest I should be exalted above measure, to the abundance of the revelation, there was given to me a third in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord twice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Amen. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Sometimes the trial of faith involves the loss of position. I think I could remember this uh, brother with Dr. Jimmy. Don't think it's a man, right? So, a test, no? The loss of position. Sometimes, I don't know what's going And uh, it depends upon you on who to cling on. If you want to cling to your friend, if you want to cling to your manager, to someone, but then as a Christian, you should cling to God. Palagi. No? Amen. Sila ang ating palaging uh, uh, hawakan palagi sa ating buhay. Amen. The upsetting of our carefully laid plans, the seemingly mysterious intervention of God's hands, but faith's testing is always for God's glory and for our good, and our part is to rejoice in the truth of Job. 2310. Read this one. Next one. Read this one. Job 2310. Yes. 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 Then we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His promise. Yeah, this is the favorite verse of most Christians, I think. Right. All things work together for good to them that love God. That's the manner of faith testing. In your life as a Christian, uh, talagang ma 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 ano to ma ma experience mo yung 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 kamay ng panginoon sa buhay mo the God the hands of God uh, moving in your life on this uh, trials that you're going to have in your life as a Christian so uh, what God is trying to tell us no what God is trying to tell us all things work together all things work together for good for bad. All things work together to them that love God. Number three, last one. The meaning of faith's testing. The meaning. What's the meaning? Why does God test our faith? Why God, why does God test our faith? There is a sense in which faith must never ask why. Because faith trust the Lord and leaves the wise to Him. And yet it is true to say that God has told us in His Word some reasons why He tests our faith. Number one, God tries our faith to prove the genuineness of it. 
God tries our faith to prove the genuineness of it. Only when faith is tested is the reality of faith proved and demonstrated, compared as with these verses given. It's, it was as if God said, Abraham, you would trust me? All right, prove it. If God is in your front, is in your front now, and He will ask you, do you have faith in me? You prove it. No? So it's 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 a way of telling whether you are a silver, you are a gold, or you are a fake, or whatsoever. No. That's the manner of that. That's the meaning of the, the test. Your tests in your life. To really see whether you are really a genuine son of God, a genuine disciple of God, a genuine follower of God. That's the meaning of testing. Number two, God tries your faith to increase the measure of it. How strong Abraham's faith was after he had trusted God for the gift of Isaac, as in Romans 4, 20 it tells us. But how much stronger it would have been after the experience of Genesis 22? He would then be able to say with Job, uh, Job 13, 15, I'm going to read this one. Job 13, 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain mine always, mine own ways before him. It's Job. A little tree is tempted by the wind that is by adversity. God tries your faith to increase the measure of it. God tries your faith to increase the measure of it. How oh, are we going to spend this? Huh? Because, uh, like for example here, this is an example here. A little tree is tempted by the wind that is by adversity. Pagbalakan testing sa buhay mo. Uh, like, like for example, uh, like Brother Kenneth, kung hindi siya nag-exercise si Brother Kenneth ngayong gabi, tingin ko lang pa siya until tumanda siya mangyari. Diba? Hindi mo lang bundak. If you're not going to, uh, if you're not going to, uh, 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 Make an endurance of yourself. Ano yung jaga nang? Kaya dapat if you're going, if you're going to exercise, dapat i i numo i stress stress up yung level lang mo ng 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 energy mo. Di lang hanggang hanggang ten minutes lang na ingabi. Alam mo ten minutes lang na ingabi. Nakar nakar nasi mo. Ten minutes ba? Fifteen minutes. Dapat you should increase the 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 measure of your your exercise. Supposing like today is ten minutes. Tomorrow will be 20, next will be 30, no? So it, is, it should be increasing, no? God tries our faith to increase the measure of it. Next one. God tries our faith to secure the preciousness of it. God tries our faith to secure the preciousness of it. First Peter 1 Peter 1.7 That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish yet Though it be tried in fire, might be found to praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. It's a great verse. And it should always be read in conjunction with Malachi 3 3. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering. Righteousness. The goal of our life is to be His praise and glory and honor when it is separated from the from the cross. And the trial of faith is so precious because it brings about this separation. God tries our faith to secure the preciousness of it. Kasi pag hindi mo na try na 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 try yung yung faith mo, as if you just say to yourself, just don't care. But then, when, but then when God tests you, uh, that's only the time that you will know that your faith is so precious sa buhay mo. Kasi pag hindi ka test talaga, okay lang. Okay lang sa akin, may faith ko sa Panginoon. Okay lang. 
in my life, I can, I can just live uh, with my faith. But then, when God tests you, you don't want to make it make it as a boy. No? But it's really precious to have that faith with the Lord Jesus Christ. Next, God tries our faith to produce the fruit of it. God tries our faith to produce the fruit of it. That this is what we learn from John 15 2. And every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he take it away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he forgeteth it. A, that it may bring forth more, more fruit. Our heavenly gardener is looking for the fruit. In verse 2. More fruit and much fruit. And one method he employs for producing this increasing amount of fruit in the lives of his children is that of trial and testing. Faith blossoms when the winds of trial blow the fiercest Nice, nice, nice statement. Faith blossoms when the winds of trial blow the first system. When was the time that really you have encountered the very first na bagang trial sa buhay mo? Huh? I think I could, I could, I could remember. I think the, the really the, the first trial I had was na na na. I was, I was. Uh, Nasama na ko sa isang kaso na hindi ko man nagawa ang kasalanan, di ba? That was really the first uh, trial. I couldn't sleep uh, for so many weeks and, uh, and uh, I think uh, muntik na akong mamatay that time. Uh, sobrang isip na isip ko ng kaso na hindi ko naman na, 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 nagawa yun. Uh, that's really the difficult for my part. I was uh, trying to help the, the community to be the president and try to help and uh, help and then nangyari, mayroong demonyo talagang mapasok na po sa life. It was life, anyway. But then God advanced me that time. Right. God advanced me that time. Advanced me. Yeah. If you want to ask, you ask the sister Mina Boy. Ang habang kwento. Next one. God tries our faith to use the testimony of it. God tries our faith to use the testimony of it. Uh, you're going to read this uh, verses, you read it in your house. Particularly noticing the last eight words in verse 25 in Acts 16. I'm going to read this, huh? I want to read this. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into the prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Who, having received such a charge, Trust into them. Trust them into the inner prison, prison, and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praise unto God, and the prisoners heard them. So uh, it's a testimony, no? It should be it should be used as our testimony, say, but because of our faith, we should not let those experiences in your life be unsayulang. But you should share it to them, to others. Because by sharing, they would also see the reality of being a true Christian sa buhay mo. Okay. Kaya makaya lang ka as a true Christian. Kasi, uh, the most important, the, mo the most uh, viable testimony na dapat ilabas mo is yung personal testimony mo dapat talaga. Yung pinaka, ano, yung pinaka, uh, may credit talaga sa iba, yung personal testimony. Sure. Yeah. Here is a closing talk. God will always give back to us far more than He asks us to give up for Him. He may do the giving back in this life, but if not, He will most certainly grant us an abundant reward in the life to come. Look up and care for you guys, this one. Okay, I'm going through this one and uh, follow me with your eyes if you are there. In 1 Peter 4, 12, 19, can we read this all together? Amen. Yeah. 1 Peter 4, verses 12 and 19. Are you there now? Say amen. amen. Okay. Verse 12, start. Beloved, faith is not strange concerning the fairy trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when the glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also to receive joy. If ye 
he be the cause of the name of Christ, happy are he for the sake of the glory of God who is among you. On their part, it is either spoken of, but on your part, it is not denied. But let none of you suffer as a martyr, or as a thief, or as a thief of the Lord, or as a busy body in other men's hands. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. For the time is come that the judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end of them? The reign of the gospel of God. And if the righteous shall be saved, where shall that God be in the city of the sinner? Wherefore, let them suffer according to the will of God, commitment to the kingdom of souls to be in the way of the Son of the Again, verse 19 again. Wherefore, let them suffer according to the will of God, commitment to the kingdom of souls to be in the way of the Son of the so I tell you, it's a very exciting uh, part of the lesson, testing. Kung noon, if you have a new item, your, your Samsung S6, S7, S8, I think you are very excited to test it. If you have a new car, like uh, a new car, a new car from the corner, they on, BMW, I will be excited to test this better idea. So it's a very exciting, uh, I tell you again, don't, don't fret if, if God is trying to test you. It will, be, it will make you stronger, that's what, what else? It will value more food, what else? Uh, you will appreciate the, the value of your faith. That's it. Okay, let's close in prayer. Oh, heavenly God, we thank you once again.